While we're on the subject of orthophonic and RCA Victor, here's another thing you're not going to see every day. As a matter of fact, this is the first one of these I've ever seen. I've seen the format before, but never this model. Give you an idea how big this is. Here's my hand against the grill. It's uh, at least 12 inches tall. The thing is about 18 inch by 18 inch, maybe 20 inch by 20 inch. It weighs about 40 to 45 pounds. And what is it? It's a cassette deck, but it's not any cassette. It's RCA's own cassette system. This is what they came out with in 1958, uh, long before the regular cassette ever, and uh, Philip Sorelco ever came out with a little cassette we're all familiar with. This is what the cassette looks like. It looks very much like a regular cassette, but as you can see by my hand over it, it's a lot bigger. And uh, this is the original demo cassette for it. This one, you so you see the plastic portables of this model around, but I've never seen this one here. This is like the deluxe version with the amplifier built in, speakers built in. Uh, this one records and plays back. Many of these were ma made just as playback machines. Here's the original microphones with the RCA uh, dog logo on the back. Uh, patch cords. This has got everything. I'm not demonstrating this because it doesn't work yet. I'm repairing this for uh, Steberg's Rock. And uh, there's a basic piano key uh, layout here for record, playback, fast forward, rewind. In most respects, it's just like a reel-to-reel -reel deck, except they wanted to make something that you didn't have to fool with. You didn't have to use a take-up reel. You didn't have to thread it. And this was how the, uh, the cassette that we know about was born. Um, it's got the, uh, what they call the thumbnail uh, uh, magic eye tubes like they used in the European radios for the overload indicator. The green fluorescent tubes, one for the left, one for the right. And uh, pretty cool. And it's in really great condition. Uh, there is something rattling around inside. I know that the motor's frozen. So it's going to take some work to get this thing going uh, up and uh, uh, go, uh, getting it going again. Easy for me to say. But anyway, the thing's uh, cabinet-wise, the thing's in phenomenal condition. Got basically the same grill cloth that the console had. I love the writing on these things, like the old, uh, expect to see it on a fender of a 59 Impala or something. And uh, But there it is, and there's the other badge, Stereo Orthophonic. Pretty cool machine, so I'll get into it after a while.